Okay, hey guys, Pockbomb752 here, and today I'm going to be showing you a cool trick that you can do on your computer. Now, I know this works with Windows 7 and Windows Vista, but I'm not sure about Windows XP. Um, basically, it's where you can control your vo your computer with your voice. It's kind of cool. Kind of like how you see in the movies where they tell their computer what to do and it does it. It's kind of like that. So first you're going to need to go into control panel and if it doesn't look like this, like if it's in classic view, you're going to need to change it into this type of mode, like so it looks like this. Um, and then you're going to need to um, go into ease of access. Um, I don't, let me just, can't really bring it up anymore, oh, there you go. Just go into ease of access and see right here speech recognition just say start speech recognition so there it is and um, basically all you have to do is click this um it does tell you oh crap all right it does uh give you a little guide to help you and i would suggest doing it and it's really helpful for you or it was for me to help me use this and it teaches you all the things you can do with it so basically um just press this oh crap now it's pressing keys okay so um i'm not going to turn it on until i'm actually sorry about that okay so yeah now if you're talking to your friend and you say something it may open up a random program on your computer so um you can it's gonna exit out this and you can go like this and watch stop listening start listening actually no sorry um but you can just say stop listening um yeah so I can say I can get it into a program so I can go just I'm not going to talk to you I'm going to talk to this because I don't want it to mess up so watch start S A F okay so this is an example of when it doesn't know uh, what to do and when it does so when I said S A F, it searched up. I if you can see that, as it, as it would have the tent. But um, then I said, so this is an example of, and it said that. So this is an example of. So that's just telling you what it can and can't do. So I'll just open up WinRAR to show you. So, get that position. Um, all you have to do is go start, start, WinRAR. Okay, can select all, delete, sticky notes, sticky notes. Okay, so as you can see, it, I mean, if, unless you have it in here, it worked a lot better on Windows Vista. I don't know if that's something about the operating system or what, but, um, yeah, okay, I need to make this stop listening. Um, but, I don't know, it just worked a lot better, like, let me try dragging Safari. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, but if I had Safari open... If you have a lot of things open, like on YouTube, you can go like this. Show numbers. Fifteen. Okay. And it showed the number for Safari. So, yeah. Show numbers. Show numbers. Thirteen. 
Okay. Stop listening. So as you can see, it bring up that. So you can't just go to say start Safari and go to YouTube. No, you can't do that. You have to. You could all. You could go and say start, and then go to Safari from your start menu. But um, you could also go start typing mode. G M backspace M A I L dot com backspace backspace enter so you can go to gmail like you could type it in like that or ooh, I don't want that one. sorry um you could also like replace stuff so you could go w h a z replace z with t replace z okay so in the uh thing that i told you about that teaches you how i think i don't remember exactly how but it tells you how to like replace something with something else um so you don't so if you mess up on one letter um it won't mess up on the whole thing but so that's a cool trick on how to uh control your computer with your voice if you have any questions just leave a comment or private message me but yeah so until my next video just remember to rate comment and subscribe bye guys